So as you can see, the chickens are escaping and going into the goats area when they're supposed to be over here in their nice little chicken coop we have. And we've got the fence that runs down here. And as you can see, the fence here, I'm trying to move and put back up again to make it a nice sitting area over here. So right now I'm trying to pull this fence and get it straight and put it up. Then at the end down here, I'm going to build a little gate that goes across right here. So I'm going to run a gate right through here, down there, and then finish the fence off over there. I got this white lattice stuff here. And I figured I can take that and screw some of these 1x4s around it and make like a gate out of it. So that's my next project after I get that, that fence put up. So as you can see here, I'm actually using my larger, more powerful drill as a screw gun and my smaller drill as a drill because, well, that's how I set them up when I got them out and I'm too lazy to switch them back. But normally it should be the other way around. So here I am, I'm beginning to screw them together. I'm gonna to do like long boards and then like short boards for support all, all the way around. So I'm just beginning the, the great process. The problem is the lattice is slightly bigger than my, my, my workbench I'm on. It's going to take a little bit, but I'll finish up soon. It took me a little bit to figure out how math works. So I could uh, put that beam right there in the middle. But once I figured out that math actually does work, you run the beam right down that middle down there and onto this what's on the other side, which I haven't caught yet. And it'll hold the whole thing together and make it really strong. Well, hopefully. Okay, see, I made the little sandwich there, holding that in place. Now so I have to do the same thing on this side. And then flip it over and do the same thing on that side over there. So I'm coming along pretty good. Almost there. Now you can see here that I did a middle line. So I could put the screws right in the middle of this. And then wherever the lattice crosses in here I put a screw through it to hold the lattice and the wood all together. Now I'm using two inch screws because the top of this is about an inch then we got the gap of the, the lattice and then another about an inch. So that should hold it all nice and good. Maybe a little bit will poke out in the back but probably not too much. Okay so now I flipped it over you can see why you don't buy two inch screws to go through two inches of wood. Somehow it doesn't work. So I'm going to have to go through and grind off all the points where those screws stick through with my grinder and find some smaller screws. Okay, so now we got the gate. It's all put together, all ground. So all I have to do is put the hinges on tomorrow and then come down here and dig a new gate post over there and then run the fence the rest of the way all the way over. So I got some of these gate hinges here. I found them someplace so I'm going to use those. What I'm doing is I'm marking where the first screw goes so I can drill that out and get the whole thing set. So when I put it up, I can just be easier to just pop them in there. So a couple years ago, we uh, cut out a window in the concrete. So we use this concrete saw that makes these great little flat concrete thingy bobbers. So I'm using a whole bunch of those to jack up this end of the gate so I can get everything to be nice and level and pretty before I screw it in over here. Make this in all nice and 
somewhat straight. Uh, we're going pretty good right there. So I attached the post here with the steel bands to this metal column that's like concreted into the ground. And I added the post so I have something to screw in the gate to. And it gives me a little bit of a pushover. So the gate's more about where I want it. Four inches. But I never liked this band. It's how it's not really tight tight. So I drill a few holes here. And I'm going to screw some screws in there and just cinch it down to the post. Now, of course, I did what you're never supposed to do. I used a wood drill to steel, drill through those steel holes. But of course, you know, it's thin, so nothing big problems came out. But still, it's bad for my wood drill. So I'm going to screw those in real quick, and I think my gate will be on this end, it'll be done. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that 4x4 stake into the ground. I dug the hole a little bit deep so when I drive that all the way in the metal box is flush at the top of the ground so if we have to take the stake out sometime to do something like get something big back here we can take the, the 4x4 out and then drive over top and put it back in again without having something stick out of the ground. So to do that I got this little block here which I'm going to put in the top there and then use my smasher smasher here to smash it, smash it into the ground. So I got the smashy smashy in there and realized that I have two problems. Problem number one is now that that's way down in there, it's really hard to tighten that around my, my, my 4x4. The second problem, you geniuses out there probably figured out already, and I'm not a genius so it took me a while to figure it out, that when this thing is in here, like beautifully so, The gate comes up to it about half an inch overlap. The gate has a half an inch overlap on it. So I need to figure out how to pull that back out and move it over an inch or figure out if I want to close my gate this way. Hard decision, I'll think about it. What I'm doing now is I got this chain and I connected it to this jack here and then I wrap the chain around that 4x4 holder there. And when I jack it up, it'll pull it right out of the ground, easy peasy. Then after this, I'm going to get myself a hole hook. It looks kind of like a metal pot with screws on the inside, so you can change the diameter of the inside of the pot. And then there's a metal rod that comes out of the top, so you can keep the angle of your hole true. And on the front are two hooks where you hook to with a chain and you can pull the hole over because on the front of the pot are these little like worm gears that go all the way around it all like hundreds of them and when you pull on it the worm gears spin and it moves the dirt from the front all the way around to the back now I need to go find that but I haven't seen one for a while so I need to go look some more it took me a little while but I finally got my hole hook and screw that over by the three inches I needed to. But wouldn't you know it, once I got it to scoot it over, it's just a little off. It's off the other way now. But I can deal with that. I can fix that easy. So now I just gotta do is tighten up a little bit and it'll be all nice. And put my, my lock on there. And then I got a big bundle of wire there. And I'm gonna run the wire across and across and to there. And we'll be done. Woohoo! Two points for me. There's the old man. He comes out and fixes my mistakes. So whenever he watches me, he sees I do something wrong, he says nothing. And then when I get ready to go and leave, he magically shows up and slowly and meticulously fixes all my mistakes. So when I come back, it looks like I did a good job. So if you see anything that's done and it looks like it was done well, it was him who did it, the old man. Well, here you go. I got the new latch on there, all slidey, nice and good. The gate's all locked up. This section of the gate is all done, all beautiful and finished. Now I'm just going to have to run that wire there, cross from here down there, 
then down our fence line, and we all finished. Except the higher-ups just told me they like this gate so much, they want a second one right here. So I guess I have to start making a new gate. Well, that's all for now. Talk to you all later.